Well, hello. I'm Marty Whitney with Artitude Adjustment. And if you like fun art, not fine art, then you're in the right place. I teach painting all over the country. And right now I'm going to get my computer set so I can see your comments. Um, so as you come in, I hope you'll say hello. Let me know your name. And look who's here, PJ. You have an exclusive... Hi, girl. <laughs> this is an exclusive program for you today. I think you're going to like it. And you'll see why in a few minutes. But I want to welcome everyone as they come in. Please say hello. Um, we're all friends here, usually. And uh, yesterday, if you were on here, um, there was a stink bug that came in and tried to intimidate me. But we took care of that. Oh, I also want to say, welcome to the show. I'm glad you're here. And today it's a special program because usually on day number three of the week, I'll uh, we're about the end of our uh, week, and I show you the finished product, and then, uh, well, tomorrow I'll show you next week's project. So, um, I usually will uh, start on Monday on the project, and then by Thursday we finished it, and on Friday I introduced the new project and tell you what supplies you can get if you want to follow along with me. So, um, this has been a real interesting week, and uh, we've had a lot of, um, I've had a lot of activity painting, and so I'm very grateful for y'all whenever you, whenever you, you look at the show because it gives me an opportunity to use some of the projects that I'm carrying around with me. This week was a fun project. If you like chickens, do you like chickens? I thought you did. So um, we're finishing up what is a floor mat. And I'm going to put the screen over here so you can see. This is the project that we've been working on. And I'm going to give you a close up so you can see exactly what it is if you want to. Yeah. So this is a duck cloth uh, piece of material like about 15 by 22 inches. I made it into a floor cloth, but let me get a couple of things going on here. I'm going to have it so we can see her and me. So uh, we have, um, well, I'm not completed with this yet, but I am going to show you the project uh, because it, like I said, it was a piece of duck cloth. I gessoed it two times on each side uh, for stiffness and to give it a little body. And I had decided that I would not use uh, these, uh, these, uh, uh, what's that? Magnets uh, for this project. I'll save them for something else and I'm going to probably paint them. If I freeze up during this um, live, you can go back and see it uh, because uh, the whole thing is being recorded even though it has a video interruption. Um, I do not know what to think about that. Uh, it, there's no reason for me to have a bad signal. Um, but like I said, if you go back or you can look at my YouTube channel where I will upload this show, if you happen to... I think my microphone's okay. Yeah, everything's okay. So I appreciate you letting me know about that. Let me know if it gets any better. Um, I might change the time of my lives a little bit later. Uh, we'll be leaving 
uh, Red Bay, Alabama on Friday and going to a new location. So you can't ever tell what you're going to get. It's a mixed bag, usually. But anyway, back to the project. Arr, let me know before you leave, um, BJ, because if it gets any better. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to put this on here. I want you to see uh, what it looks like. In fact, I'll put me down in a little box so you can see the project a little bit better. Oh well, it's on the wrong side. Let's put it on the other side. Uh, I don't have any on the left side. So let's just get rid of that all together and I'll just not a big deal. Okay, now I'll split this in two so you can see um, the project. You don't want to see me. There. Okay, so this is about 15 by 22 and what I did first was to divide it into one inch stripes. So you can see that. And then I took something called um, uh, metallic paint and painted a stripe to kind of bring those together. Now, um, I'd, I've never painted a chick. I don't ever remember painting it. Yeah, I did. I've painted a chicken on a feed bucket one time and sold it. And it was just adorable. So maybe that's what made me want to come back to the feed bucket to the uh, chicken. Um, I liked this guy. I've never painted one in that, but uh, this, this, this girl actually is um, uh, telling these two little biddies here that um, she's telling them uh, to go away because she says, can I ever do anything by myself anymore? And so they won't let her alone. And so she's just giving them the evil eye, it looks like. So, um, I, like I said, I haven't finished with this, and I wanted to show you uh, what the, the, um, the, the uh, chicken wire looks like, uh, because it is a little bit of a challenge to draw it. I might have, I, I'm going to use a white pen to show you how it looks, uh, because that was kind of a, a challenge just to learn how to do the chicken wire. Now the, the basket or the uh, wire is an octagon. So that's real easy to say, but it all fits together here. And then there's a diamond that kind of brings it together. So you can see it looks a little like a challenge, but it isn't. So you just kind of get get going here with your octagons and that's what the fence is or the chicken wire is so I had decided oh and also what you do on here while you're doing this is uh, to you know the little brads or the little wire wrap that there is you'll do about f four or f uh, five or six of those uh, to separate the wire going in the same diagonal direction and that is your chicken fence now far as the chicken goes if you're interested in doing a chicken i would consider um i would consider looking uh online for chicken pictures that's what i did probably a thousand of them not really but i did a lot of chicken pictures i penciled it out on here and I decided I wanted two little bitties. And um, at first I was going to have two. Um, I was, at first I thought I was going to have uh, two chickens beside each other, but uh, no need to fill up the space with everything. It just wasn't necessary. Now, you may do a better chicken than a me. That's not important. You know from all I've said before that doing it is more important than anything. Hey Kim, 
and you can see the biddies now. Let me get them a close, just close shot of the biddies. I hope you have a better. I hope you have a better uh, reception than some have had here. It could be the receiving computer. It could be um, where you are. Uh, where you are now if you ever go down to the activities room to receive this I've done a lot of um, Facebook lives there and it works out real well So let me know if you have any problem. I'm not seeing any video interruption. I Have been busy um, But it was fun and today um, I had lunch with an old friend um, Hey, there's my old friend Lynn and uh, Lynn Callaghan and I had lunch together in Red... Well, actually, we were in Belmont, Mississippi. We get around. So uh, we had lunch and were able to talk about some of the projects we've been working on. So anyway, it was fun. And uh, was able to get away for a little while from all of our motorhome things going on. Now, I also... What I'm looking for, and maybe you could suggest something, Kim, I need to put a backing on this. Um, it really isn't important, except it's going to make it look a little better. Uh, I'm going to put this back out. No, that goes there. And see, it's just, I'm going to leave it like that. One day I might decide to paint the other side, but I don't think so. Um, I would recommend doing this. Uh, because I can use this as a table cover uh, if I were in a farmhouse setting. I could also use it as a placemat. I could also use it um, as it's going to have to be horizontal and not vertical. But like I said, I had decided to use the metallic paint as the wire fence and uh, it is. It was freehand because my husband wouldn't draw for me, and so. But it turned out exactly what like I wished it would. Um, but I've, I'll finish it with a couple of coats of polyurethane, and I'm still in the market for UV protectant paint, like I have been for two weeks. But I haven't been over to a Hobby Lobby. Closest one is about 25 or 30 miles away. And which is a nice ride and it gives me an opportunity to shop at Hobby Lobby of course but then there's some other things that go along with it too so you go over there and you have lunch too I wish I was going to be here just a little while longer and we could do that uh, but I'm planning on pulling out of here Friday so um, I have decided what we were going to do for next week, but I'm not going to talk about it today. Um, this has been um, a lot of fun. I've, I've wanted to do a floor cloth for a couple of years. Oh, and I might say also, if I go back and I do any corrections, I'll use my white Signo pen or my Sharpie black pen. These are all permanent ink. Uh, because uh, they'll run if they're not Sharpie permanent markers. They'll run whenever you put your final coat on there. Uh, for a lot of the fence, uh, the, the chicken wire, I used just a small zero filbert, but I, I could have used a liner as well. This one was, just gives it a little more thickness for the wiring. And that's about it. So. Um, let me see. There was one other thing I needed to talk about. Uh, I already told you about tomorrow. So, anyway, this is our latest uh, hand-painted acrylic. Oh, our friends are just arriving. If you know the DeJulia's, they're just here. So, here they come and I'm going to get off right now because they're going to be knocking on my door any minute to say where do we go and it's piling up here with people who are ready to come in here and get service done on their motorhomes anyway if you don't remember 
Oh, good. I'm glad it works better. I'm glad you love the biddies. I thought of you when I was painting them, Kim. Um, it is still very hot in Alabama. Like 96, we need some rain. We need it to cool off. Uh, but people are just arriving here because it's snowbird time. People are coming back to the to get uh, t t to their uh, winter homes now from the north. And so uh, what happens in Red Bay uh, is people decide they want service and they will make an appointment and stop by for a couple of weeks just like me. So we're ready to leave and we enjoyed our time here, but we're ready to move on. Uh, if you are just tuning in, I'm Marty Whitney with Artitude Adjustment and I paint fun art, not fine art. I'll see you tomorrow at 2.15 Central and we'll be talking about our new project or we'll do, um, and the, the new project, and we'll also um, be um, talking about what we're going to be doing next week. So it's a great day to have a great day. So y'all just... Um, Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.